How do you cultivate a positive mindset in difficult times? How do you think positive when everything seems to be crumbling around you and being so negative and the energy and you just don't know how to break through those difficult times? So how are you supposed to cultivate a positive mindset? How are you supposed to cultivate a mindset where you know that eventually you'll get through it? Well, that's what I want to talk to you about coming up next. Hello, my fellow champions, and welcome back to the Grind and Gratitude Show. I am Danny Stone, also known as Coach Stone is in the building. I help real entrepreneurs make more impact, income, and influence. But right now, I want to talk to you about something that a lot of people ask me about. They say, hey, Coach Stone, how do I cultivate and create a positive mindset, especially when I'm going through a difficult time right now? I'm going through a divorce, I lost my job, my business is struggling, I'm really trying to figure out who I am, I don't know how to be a great parent, I'm struggling in so many areas of my life, so how do I cultivate this positive mindset? And so many people ask me that. So I want to talk a little bit about some of the things that I've done and that I continue to do. And look, I'm not saying I'm an expert, but these are some of the things that I've worked on for myself. And I've helped a lot of my coaching clients with to cultivate like more of a, a positive growth mindset. So let's get into it. The first thing that we have to understand is that life always has ups and downs. You know, sometimes it seems like things are going really, really well. And then all of a sudden you get hit with that big challenge or that big problem and you, you get blindsided and you're not ready for it. And so you don't know what to do. And it can really knock you off your path because things were seemingly going well. Or it can be the opposite where you're going through a really difficult time and then you get this glimmer of hope because something really great happens and then you just don't know how to react to that. So what we have to understand is that life has a lot of ups and downs and we just have to understand that that's how life moves. And in the ups and downs, we have to choose how we react to those ups and downs. You get to make a choice about how you want to react to situations, problems, and challenges. You may not think you do, but you do. Like sometimes people come to me and they say, look, I'm about to lose my home. I'm about to, to lose my job. My business is going under. Like where's the positivity in that? Like they can only see it from a stuck perspective. And then when I say, okay, let's take a step back. How are you going to look at this situation right now? You get to choose how you want to react to something. And you might not think you have a choice, but you do. So the first thing is to really choose how, how you're going to react to these challenging or difficult times. Make a choice. Do you want to go down this negative road where... The world is ending and you'll never be able to come through it? Or do you want to at least think that maybe it's possible I can get through this? So you have a choice. And many of us don't choose the other way. We choose to go down this downward spiral saying, I'll never figure it out. This is going to be the worst thing ever. And then somehow we get through it and it's okay. So we get to make a choice. What do you choose to do? How do you choose to look at the situation in that given time? Make a choice and make the choice that's going to move you forward, not hold you back. Okay. The second thing that we want to do if we're trying to cultivate a positive mindset is we have to acknowledge our feelings. And I can attest to this. Sometimes when I'm going through a difficult time, I just try to power through. I try to ignore my feelings. I try to act like I'm numb to the situation and just go, let me look for the solution. And what happens is sometimes we have to sit in those emotions. We have to feel it. We have to understand that in order for us to really appreciate who we are and where what we have, we have to feel those negative emotions. We have to feel the pain. And when you look at champions, champions feel the pain. 
and they feel the pain because they want to know what it feels like to not be successful so that they're never in that place again. And there have been times where I just really fast forward through my pain where I couldn't afford to pay my rent and I just jumped into solution mode and then I figured it out and then I found myself in the same situation, you know, five or six months or a year later. And if I had a sat in that and acknowledged my feelings about it and really stayed true to my feelings and how I felt about not being able to pay my rent, I would have said, I would have just embrace those feelings. And the next time that I got close to that situation or not even, I would have used those emotions to never be in that situation again. But when you numb yourself, you're denying yourself the opportunity and the ability to start to cultivate a positive mindset, right? Because from that, that pain and that experience, now you can start to move through that and start to appreciate where you are in your life. So you've got to acknowledge your feelings if you really want to embody a more positive mindset. Don't try to fast forward through feelings like I've done so many times in my past. The third thing, and I know you know this, is we have to embrace gratitude. If you want to cultivate a positive mindset in very difficult times, you've got to be grateful. What are you grateful for? You're saying, Coach Stone, how can I be grateful when... I lost somebody, I can't pay my bills, I'm struggling to figure out who I am, my business is failing. How do I find gratitude in that? You can find gratitude in everything. The fact that you're still here, you should be grateful. The fact that you have your health, you ate a meal, you have a roof over your head, you have people that care about you. What are you grateful for? And the more that you sit down and you write out the things that you're grateful for and you focus on gratitude, the more that you're going to attract the things that you want and that's going to help you start to cultivate a positive mindset. So many people have this very pessimistic look at life. They're very negative. And so they attract that and they end up going down this, this downward spiral of negativity when we all have things that we can be grateful for. So in the midst of chaos, in the midst of a lot of things not going the way that you want, what are you grateful for? And when you start to see the gratitude and the things that you you have to be thankful and grateful for, now you're starting to cultivate that positive mindset. And that positive mindset is going to open up opportunities and solutions that you hadn't seen before because you didn't step back from it. You're still in that downward spiral. So be grateful. And what I like to do is I have a a journal where every single day I write down at least 10 things that I'm grateful for. And I try to make the list different. I try not to say the same 10 things every day. And so it could be the clothes on my back. It could be the breakfast that I ate, I'm about to eat. It can be the fact that I have a bed. It can be that I was you know, born in a certain country, whatever that is, every day I try to make a list of different things that I'm grateful for. And that helps me to start to cultivate a positive mindset. Now, look, I'm not saying that you always have to be super optimistic about life because life is going to throw you some challenges. But when we talk about cultivating a, a positive mindset, it's really about cultivating a growth mindset. See, a lot of people are in this fixed mindset. They think things just are the way they are. They're outside of their control. And if they're in a bad place, that they just, they just have to stay there because they can't figure it out. And that's just life. That's a, that's a, a really fixed mindset. Like you just don't see that things are going to get better. A growth mindset is you're open to learning and exploring and possibility. And for a person who's trying to develop a positive mindset, that's the type of mindset that you need to start to cultivate. You have to start looking for opportunities. You have to start being grateful for what you have. And when you start to do that, you'll notice that you'll be able to bounce back from challenging situations a lot quicker than you did if you didn't do these things. So really the power of gratitude, and I talk to people about that a lot because 
I see a lot of people just, they find, a, find it hard to be grateful when they're going through a difficult time. So I want you to really hone in on that. And a pen and paper or a pen and notepad can be your very best friend. Every day, try to think of 10 things that you're grateful for and write them down. And I promise you in 30 or 60 days, you'll start to see your mindset starting to shift. You'll start to see that you're using more positive words and you're looking for opportunities and you're just innately more grateful. But you have to make a conscious effort to show gratitude and be appreciative every single day. The next one, the next tip that's going to help you to cultivate a positive mindset, especially in difficult times, is reframing, reframing challenges as opportunities. See, sometimes we look at an, a challenge as final. And oftentimes there's an opportunity in that challenge. So I had a friend recently that was going to lose their home and they were devastated. You know, they had worked so hard to get this home. They were like, yo, Danny, man, like, I worked so hard to get this home. We got the home. And now with, you know, the, the high interest rates and so on, I don't think I can afford this house. And me and my wife and my kids, you know, it, we're devastated because I have to get out of this house. And, and I said, okay, I definitely get that. A lot of people are in that situation right now. I said, so where's the opportunity in this? And he looked at me and he said, what are you talking about? Like, I just told you I'm about to lose my home and, you know, I'm devastated. And I said, I'm going to ask you again, where is the opportunity in this? And he thought about it for a while and he just kept going, there's no opportunities here. I feel like a failure and so on. I said, I understand. Well, where's the opportunity? And eventually he's like, you know what? We'll walk away with some money so we can pay off all of our debts We've always wanted to travel. We wanted to go and see family and friends, and we hadn't been able to do that, so now we can do this. Um, we weren't necessarily set on a house in this neighborhood, so we can go rent a house in a different neighborhood. And he starts rhyming off about seven or eight different opportunities in that challenge. And so that's what I want you to think about, like reframing the challenge to opportunity. Sometimes when you lose your job, Maybe you didn't want that job to begin with. So it's God or the universe's way of nudging you towards what you already wanted. And that's what a challenge can be sometimes. It can be an opportunity. It can be a nudge towards something that you already said that you wanted. And so we have to look at it that way. And when we start to look at things that way, we start to develop this really strong, positive mindset. And so we have to learn to reframe challenges and look for the opportunities in those challenges, even if it's difficult, even if it's difficult. The next tip is surround yourself with positivity. When you're trying to be more positive or you're searching for more meaning and purpose, but challenges keep pulling you back, you got to surround yourself with positivity. And so what that might mean is you might have to put negative people at arm's distance. You might have to limit your contact with people who are very negative. What are you listening to? Are you listening to podcasts, inspirational music, reading books? Are you surrounding yourself with positivity? Because if you surround yourself with positivity, you're infusing that into your subconscious. But many of us don't do that. We're going through a challenging time. We go and talk to a negative person. They put us in an even worse state. Our, our mind starts to spiral. We're listening to all this negative music and watching the news and looking at social media and all these things that have a negative impact on us. And so it amplifies how we're already feeling about ourselves. So you got to surround yourself with positivity. Maybe it's exercising. Maybe it's going out for a walk in nature. Maybe it's listening to uplifting music or podcasts. But you have to surround yourself with positivity if you're trying to develop a positive mindset. Right? I mean, it's obvious, but most of us just don't do that. And the last tip 
if you're really trying to develop a positive mindset, especially if you're going through difficult times is, and I know you know this, you need some powerful self-talk. We have to stop with the limiting language. We have to stop beating ourselves up over mistakes and setbacks and failures. We have to stop saying, I'm not good enough. I'm not worthy. We have to stop that. We got to stop the lies that we are telling ourselves. And we have to tell ourselves the truth. The truth is you have a champion inside of you. You have greatness within you. You're resourceful and resilient and creative and curious. So you can always figure things out. But you need to infuse and inject that powerful, positive self-talk. Come up with some affirmations that you say to yourself every day. Look in the mirror and say, acknowledge yourself for how far you've come so far. Like you have to be mindful of the language that you're using and what you're saying about yourself. And if you start to change your language, you'll start to change your perspective and see things from different angles. You'll start to shift your mindset and that's going to lead you to creating a more positive mindset and having a more positive outlook on your life. And I'm talking as somebody who was never always a positive person. I grew up in low-income housing surrounded by drug dealers and pimps and, and, and you know criminals. And so my mindset was always very negative and that people were always coming for me and I always had to be ready. And so I always thought people were out to get me. And I had a lot of negative experiences and I, I carried that on my shoulders. And so because I wasn't further ahead in life and I went to university and dropped out, I used to be very harsh with myself. I used to call myself a failure. I used to say, I'm not good enough. I don't deserve to be here. I don't deserve to have that. I didn't feel like I was worthy. And that was the language that I used for so many years. And so I stayed stuck. I stayed stuck in place. And because I was stuck and I was in this negative mindset, opportunities would just keep passing me by and I couldn't see them or acknowledge them because I had a very negative mindset. And once I started doing this self-development work and going to seminars and books and getting coaches, I started to shift my mindset and just started to, to be grateful and find more opportunities and setbacks and all the things that I'm talking to you about right now. And what happened was my life changed dramatically. All of these amazing opportunities started to come my way. I started, you know, speaking on stages, getting paid to speak. My book came out. I started helping people around the world. This podcast and this show started reaching people around the world. I became, you know, a, a, a media guest expert speaking on mainstream media. All of these opportunities started to come my way. All because I changed my mindset. I decided that I didn't want to live in this downward negative energy. And I decided that I wanted to attract more positive energy and shift my mindset. And that's what happened. So I really want you to kind of listen to this. And if you have to go back and listen to it again, I highly suggest that you do this because these tips have worked for me. You know, they've worked for my coaching clients. They've worked for family members, friends, and, and these aren't just words. These are things that you have to put into practice if you want to develop a positive mindset. So I just want to wrap up and let you know this. Look, embrace the journey of life. You only get one life. Whether it's the ups and the downs, take it in. But you have an opportunity to choose how you look at challenges. Where is the opportunity in the challenge? Are you waking up grateful? Are you surrounding yourself with positivity? I want you to start to think about these things and to put some of them into practice and your life and your mindset can look a lot different in 30, 60, 90, 120 days. I hope this was valuable for you. If it was, please subscribe here on YouTube or subscribe to the podcast wherever you're listening to it. And I would love for you to leave a comment or a review. It would help me out a lot. That is it. 
I will catch you in this next video or this next podcast episode. Peace. Check one, check two. That's a blooper. <laughs> That's going in the blooper reel. <laughs>